you to talk a little bit more about the economics of it. And I think that uh, when you look at Haiti and you look at the fact that um, 75 to 80 percent of the people are living with less than two dollars a day. I'm sorry, say that again? 70 to 85 percent to 80 percent of the people are living with less than two dollars a day and about 50 percent are living on less than one dollar a day. So I think that you have to understand, I think that that gives you a little bit of the scope of the kind of poverty that you have in Haiti and that you need to deal with. And, and I think that that kind of, um, of uh, the prevalence of poverty has many root causes. But if you look um, in terms of things like education, you see why it is that, that, that you're seeing some of those figures. 80%, uh, why is that? Well, because 80% of uh, all the kids who are in school go to school in non-public schools. So you have a kind of an absence of, of, the, of the state, an absence of public sector institutions that provide services uh, to, uh, to people. So one of the issues uh, is how is it that you can support the state to play its role in providing what are basic services so that, pe so that when children grow that they can have the opportunities to go to school now that they have a Creole language in schools, that they can go to school and then be able to have the opportunities uh, to, to, to make a living later on. So you, I think that we need to see what, it, what are the kind of life opportunities that kids have when they are born in Haiti. So, from, uh, yes, uh, quickly if you can, because we're going to take a break in a moment. Go ahead. I, I think you're <clears throat> absolutely right that the educational system is abysmal, um, and there's a lot of reasons for that. But I think we also have to look at some of the more fundamental roots of those reasons, uh, such as the history of, of governance and, and the type of economic exploitation in the country, and I hope we can get to that in a bit.